1936 Ford pickup is finally finished. This one was pretty simple to do. Truck cabs always are because they're a lot smaller. Uh, I incorporated the GoPro on this one. Uh, let me know what you guys think of that. I don't like it too much, but some people I know in the comments were saying they enjoyed it. Um, I need to invest in a different model because mine's a little dated and the quality isn't as good. And this will be my last vehicle shot in vertical. Um, I know a lot of people are upset that I've been doing that, but like I said before, these are all old videos that I shot on the other platforms and now I'm uploading them on YouTube. I shot these before I even started YouTube. I have three more vehicles we're working on right now. I have a Porsche 356, that's shot in landscape. I have a BMW 2002 TII, that's shot in landscape. And I have one that I'm super excited for that I'm working on right now, a Volkswagen bus, a 1969 Volkswagen bus. And that's also in landscape. All videos will be in landscape from now on. But that's enough of me blabbering. Let's go over this thing real quick and see what we're working with. This thing's in really good shape, but a lot of it seemed to have been replaced up front here. I'm pretty sure that sure this whole front end was replaced. So coming along the side here, we'll take a look inside. You can see this floor was replaced. Whoever made the panels, there's the name of the company. I doubt that was a company in 1936. The dash is pretty solid. And the uh, like firewall, you could see there were some patches done to it. Up top here, he left uh, wiring all through it. So there's still some wiring. But all in all, this thing's pretty solid. There is some pitting and there's some rusting in those braces right there. Come around to the back. There was a ton of Bondo on the back. If you look back on the video, and it was all dented in, there's a lot of pitting, there was rust underneath the Bondo. But all in all, for 1936, this thing's pretty solid. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed dipping this truck. And my last video I did kind of blew up and my page is taken off a little bit. So there's, a I get a ridiculous amount of comments. I try to answer as many as I can, but I'm on uh, like three or four other platforms too. And it's just hard for me to get to everything. I try and I really appreciate you guys' patience and watching my videos. I appreciate every single one of you and thank you for watching.